And now it's time to make a table. And here we've got a bunch of example tables that you can look at, but we want to start from square one. So let's just create an empty table. Here we just want our primary collection. That's good. And we're going to name this clothing. Great. Here's the user facing name, like what people will see in Rowie. And this is a table ID that you'll use to reference it if you do any custom coding. And that's fine. If you want a section in Rowie, that's just how it visually organizes it in your workspace. You can set up a bunch of different sections in Rowie to just organize your projects. We're not going to do any right now, so let's just move on. Access controls, we're just going to accept all the defaults at this point. But if you had different types of users with different permissions, you would set that up here. Auditing is how you track what users are doing. So it's going to record all the actions of users. So if someone updates a record, it will tell you who updated it and when. This is automatically enabled, and we're just going to keep it like that. And then finally, you can initialize some standard columns. But let's just start out with a blank slate. Beautiful. So here is our first table. Of course, there's no data, there's no fields, there's no columns, there's no nothing. So we got two options. One is we can import data. So we can drop in a CSV or a TSV. We can link up an Airtable account and import your data from Airtable. You can paste in some CSV data. So if you're just in like Google Sheets or an Excel, you can just highlight it and paste it in. Or if you've got a CSV at a URL, you can paste it in here too. But let's go bare bones and just make our own. So let's start off and just add a column. 